if we got the main event to go, it's going to turn their fortunes around because they're, they're really lobbying to get major corporate sponsors and a big renewal on their television deal. They actually went so far in that uh, effort as to have one girl cut herself in the head with a razor blade and have the other girl lick the blood off of her on national cable television in the United States of America at 10 o'clock on an Eastern time. Uh, and you know what I will say too? Anyone bleeding is, you know, something that the average person who's not a wrestling fan may be concerned with. A woman bleeding like that on TV, that's something that I think even some wrestling fans ago, that's a bit much. She's so pale and so white right now that it really looked disturbing how bloody she got. Well, also, when Mariah was, or Marie, is it Marie or Mariah? I've gone both it's ways. It's Mariah. You better watch out. She'll shoot you with that fucking thing in the mouth. Well, fuck yeah. I'm not fucking getting anywhere near her. Um, she's got her by the hair and she's standing over and she's licking it and she's wiping it and she's glorifying in it. It looked like a goddamn Frazetta painting of a Conan fucking the Conqueror scene. I just and, got a great book that Tashin did all of his artwork. Well, and, and they may be looking for other lines of work. If they... the I can't believe if the network is bleeping shit in crowd chance that they really appreciated what was going on there and the visual that people were getting when they were... T Can you imagine the female audience tuning in trying to find Modern Family? So, uh, it was Willow Nightingale and Mariah May, Maria May, uh, we just settled this, for the Owen Hart Cup, and then Mariah wins, and Tony Storm celebrates with her, and then Mariah grabs the belt and clocks Tony Storm in the head, and she gets color, and she's bleeding, and then, and again... There's Mariah taking the shoe, the high-heeled shoe, and she's potatoing her in the face with it. It looked oh, brutal. At one point, she hit her in the mouth, and Tony Storm moved a little bit. It looked, it looked yes, like the mouth. She, but, she's yeah. like, hey, fuck. But it, 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 it escalated quickly, as the, as the young folks say, but also, I'm sorry. I know in the wrestling bubble that these people live in, Oh, that's a great thing. But you can't... We've just seen a documentary talking about and, and interviewing some television broadcasting programming executives at this very same company about what their thoughts were pro and con about professional wrestling. The same people may not still be in charge, but many of the same concepts that people have for television and how to brand their network still apply not only there but in a variety of places just because you change the executives doesn't mean you change the way that they think about the fundamentals of how they're building their business and none of these people need professional wrestling and it was just said in in that program, who killed WCW? And remember, this is a time where the WCW telecast was drawing three and four times, still at the end, three and four times the audience that this is drawing. And the executive was like, we don't think it's upscale for what our overall programming plan is. We can't get big sponsors. They don't want to spend the money. You think, who's going to sponsor that fucking last segment, Gillette Razor Blades? It's, no, I'm sorry, it's not something that networks really particularly would ask to have on their air is women beating each other bloody, whether work or not, when it's real blood and it looked a little fucking graphic. It, guys blood sometimes used to get you in trouble with television stations but no, this was close-ups this was tony storm did a great job of selling it because yes it made me not want to see it it was pretty brutal
And again, she's so pale right now <laughs> that the blood really stood out. And it was a disturbing image to end the show with. They thought it was a hot angle. Again, they ended last week's show. MJF doing this to Daniel Garcia. Not with a woman's shoe, but you know what I mean. Yes. Two weeks in a row, they're ending the show with a big well, turn. Well, and, and, and in, the middle, the, in the middle, they just hospitalized... Um, oh, goddamn, who went out in the air? Joe went Samoa out in the Joe, yeah. So from a booking standpoint, this has suddenly gotten repetitive uh, over just a couple of television shows. And from a business standpoint, holy fuck. If they're in a position where girls getting color on television will make a significant impact in their overall business enough to justify the risk of potential sponsor and television backlash, then they're in a pretty shitty spot. And if Tony called his babysitter or liaison or concierge or whoever at TBS and said, well, we're going to have blood with one of the girls in an angle. I don't know if he still told him and we're going to have a close up as the one girl licks the blood off her head. At the very end, like the last thing before it cut off for me was Tony Storm actually like spitting the blood out of her mouth. Well, wouldn't you? <laughs> I guess so. I so guess I'm so. not surprised they caught that activity. <sighs> so we'll see if <laughs> maybe Hormel with a nice new lunch meat for kids will sponsor next week or something. <laughs>